today. We're making childhood dreams come true. You will see it in my eyes when the boat is shaking again. We're gonna snorkel at the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. But before we go explore the ocean, here's a brief overview of how we got here. In the last video, we left you in Brisbane, having just finished our quarantine and now being in a bit of a pickle. On the one hand, we had planned to fly to Cairns to see the Great Barrier Reef for a long time, and we were highly motivated and feeling quite healthy again. On the other hand, we had just lost two weeks of travel time and really wanted to get to our next country, and we also didn't want to put too much stress on our bodies. Ultimately, we knew that we weren't going to be back in Australia anytime soon and we didn't want to miss out on a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So we decided to at least give it a go. We packed our bags and flew to beautiful and sunny Cairns. I hope we're gonna see some big, hopefully colorful fishes. I don't want to get my hopes up for any turtles or sharks or anything just because I think there's a high chance we won't see anything like that, but it would be so cool. So far, it has all been a very smooth and easy process. We're here on a boat called Passions of Paradise or something. The boat's made for about 120 people, but I think we're maybe 60, 70. So it feels quite open and spacious. It's very nice. So of course the Great Barrier Reef is super huge. It's the largest coral reef system in the world. And just a small part of it is yeah, outside of Cairns. What most companies do is they check the conditions each morning to see where they um, should go to snorkel or to dive. There's been some rain on the way, but I think once we get out there to the reef, it shouldn't rain. And if it does, then it's going to rain real hard, but also it's going to go away really quickly. So. And also we might not even notice it underwater. <laughs> yeah. Always hold on to something while maneuvering on the boat. We should be there soon. So yeah, today we're hitting two snorkel spots. We're going to Hastings Reef, which is supposed to be a little bit more protected. Because in these conditions, I think that's a smart idea. So the first mission on our way to the reef is not to get seasick. I'm focusing on the horizon. I think that's what you're supposed to do. So there's actually not more I can do, except from not being on my phone or looking into the camera. If you're ever taking a tour like this and the crew says it's going to be bumpy, definitely take a seasickness tablet if you're not sure whether you get seasick or not, because otherwise it's just going to ruin your day. I'm so happy we <laughs> took one. I think they're working wonders right now. It was time for our first snorkeling session of the day and you can now see us rocking our stylish outfits for the day. Very tightly fitting stinger suits. These suits protect you against deadly jellyfish and most companies will hand them out as a precaution, even if it's unlikely that there are any around. We got a quick safety briefing in which our guides explained that there would always be a lookout present to spot if anyone needed help. There would be a rescue boat on standby and there would always be guides with us in the water that you could join for guided tours. Ready? Let's go. quite a lot of waves here so that makes snorkeling a little bit tricky but still uh, it's a cool reef <laughs> <laughs> One at the buffet. <laughs> Thank you. 
We got a pasta bolognese. We got a vegetable curry, rice, and some salad. First snorkeling spot is done, and we had a lot of fun. The reef is beautiful, all the different colors, and it's just so impressive how big it is. And we saw some nice big fish. I don't even know what they're called, actually. I think we need a little class in marine biology. That was a really good first snorkel. The conditions are kind of choppy. The waves are kind of high as well, and it makes snorkeling a little bit difficult but I think it was still super nice. We then drove to our second snorkeling spot, still on Hastings Reef, which just shows you how large even one of the 2,900 reefs actually is. And after a short break chilling in the sun, it was already time to suit up and jump into the water again. Straight out of the gate, saw a turtle, that was really cool. And then just so many cool fish. And then we were just chilling in the water and then a shark right in front of our faces basically. But the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. So gone. The second snorkeling spot was even better than the first one. I think it was a bit more, a bit less shallow. Like the um, corals were deeper under the water, the whole reef. And we saw lots of nice creatures down there. And also amazing, colorful fish. So it was a great success. A great success. We just looked into the water with our snorkels and the first thing I saw was this turtle. And it was so crazy because I actually gave, already gave up on, on seeing one today. And I think I've never seen one, at least not in the water. Yeah, it was just so much luck that we saw it right away and I was so happy for the whole time snorkeling. Yeah, that was really cool. I'm glad that we did it. Um, it is definitely deceptive that if it's raining in cans, still mean that the weather out on the water is like this, super warm, still windy, but yeah, that was uh, a really good trip and now we just have to take the two hour bumpy ride back. Mm -hmm. 